I just want to get right to Charlie's Valentine's calls because I found it very interesting that Charlie actually got ghosted. I'll go into a little more detail about who ghosted Charlie on Valentine's Day and who answered the phone. I think it's pretty much your guess is probably correct if you think it's Donna, but um, I want to go into those details a little more fine tuned. I want to show you guys the paperwork, so I'll send it to that video right now. Hello, everyone. I just want to go over Charlie's Valentine's Day calls in in great detail because I think that it's very important for, for us to see who's picking up the phone on a very momentous holiday such as Valentine's Day, which expresses our love for the ones that we love, especially our significant other, the people that mean the most to us in our lives. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the first call that took place at 2.29 p.m., there was no answer. It was to Donna. At 2.29 p.m., there was no answer from Donna. So Donna must have been kind of around uh, running some errands. She just wasn't by the phone when Charlie called. Then the next call was at 2.32 p.m. For one minute, he talks to Donna. The first call, one minute. Hello, Charlie. How are you? Happy Valentine's Day. Maybe he doesn't even know it's Valentine's Day. Maybe... She has a subtle awareness, but she loves to talk to her son, Charlie, on Valentine's Day for one minute. Then the next call, if you can guess, at 2.34 p.m. was for 20 minutes to his lawyers. They are working on this case. I think Valentine's Day was on a Tuesday this year. So it, was, it wasn't like a weekend. It was kind of just a random day. But um, Daniel Rashbaum's doing his job and just kind of answering Whenever Charlie called, it was a short call for 20 minutes. Then we have another call at 322 for two minutes to Donna for uh, for two minutes. Just another short call. She probably wanted to hear what the lawyer has to say. You know, she probably saves money hearing the news about the proffer. And at this point, I think that I'm not sure if they had the proffer actually in their hands. I'm sure that they're probably just starting to watch it. And of course, we're on Donna rest watch. So they want to talk as much as possible. Then he calls her back at 354 p.m. for a 30 minute call. And they're probably talking about the proffer, the case, and a little bit of a, some small talk like we hear, heard in their wiretaps. All right, then he calls at 6.40 for 15 minutes. And, you know, this is 6.40. You know, maybe Daniel Rochbaum is wanting to maybe plan his dinner date with his wife or anything other than Charlie. But, you know, got to hand it to him. He probably is just so dedicated to this case. This is probably the biggest case he'll ever um, ever work on. So he is totally ingrained on Valentine's day, gave up his dinner reservation, or maybe he had a late dinner reservation. You never know. <laughs> so then the next call, this gets interesting. You guys, the next call is at six fifty six, and there is no answer. And this is to the burner phone and it was zero seconds in duration. There was no answer. Then there's another call 657. He gets no answer. Then he calls again at 658 and no answer. And uh, 7 p.m. He calls again. No answer. Whoever is behind this burner phone. Charlie um, probably has some, you know, kind of maybe I'm guessing a little romantic feelings. And some of you have speculated as to who the burner phone is. Maybe we can talk about it in the chat, but I kind of want to protect this person, whoever this they person are. person kind of knows that Charlie's a bad guy. Maybe they're kind of getting the hint and saying, why should I pick up the phone? Maybe it's time to just move on. And maybe they were on a date. Maybe this person doesn't want to be bothered by Charlie. All right. The next call is at 7. 3 p.m. It's a 20 minute call to his Donna and we have 7 23 p.m. Another 20 minute call to Donna. Then he calls again at 7 46 p.m. to the burner phone and there's no answer ghosted once again. And then there's a call at 8 18 
to a kind of like an unknown number for 40 minutes. Long call, 40 minute call. I'm not even sure how he was able to stay on the line for so long for 40 minutes. And then another call at 9.50 for 30 minutes to his mother, Donna. So uh, anyway, you guys, thank you so much for listening. We're on a Donna Harvey and Adelson arrest one. Thank you so much for watching Charlie's Valentine's Day calls. I hope that this kind of brought some joy to your life today. Unfortunately, the saddest part of this whole thing is that Dan Markell can never call his loved ones on Valentine's Day. And if this trial is dragged out, um, you know, as positive and optimistic as I try to be in my life, this trial has taught me patience and that this world can be evil, but it can also be wonderful. So let's push for the trial as soon as possible and more arrests. So thank you guys so much for watching. Look forward to more videos and I hope everyone's having a wonderful late winter and moving into spring. I hope you're having a wonderful year. Thank you for watching.